Welcome back to Tiny TV. This week it's Foo Fighters week. They released their new album Medicine at Midnight Friday, February 5th. And yes, I struggled to say that sentence just for you. Throughout this week, I'm going to give you interviews and uh, various extracts of the best parts of the interviews with various band members from the Foo Fighters. And with me now is the man, the myth, the legend, the nicest guy in rock and roll, Mr. Dave Grohl. Welcome to Tiny TV, Dave. Say hi to the world. Hello, everybody. It's very nice to be here. This is amazing. Wow. For wow. the next question, I have to show you one of my favorite graffitis. I'm not sure that you can see it on your screen, but it's uh, someone writing, Punk is dad on a wall <laughs> and I just love it you know because one of your daughters is singing on the opening track making a fire and waiting on a war was written because of a conversation you had with your daughter Harper and we'll get back to waiting on a war in just a minute but for now I just want to know at medicine at midnight do you show a bit more of the private life of Dave Grohl, the, the family private life than you've done before. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's out of out. No, no. Let's find, it's fun to be with, with, with everything that we do, you know, we're not good, good at, 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 um, um, at like, at like seeing the future, right? We're not, we just kind of go day to day to day to day. And we really follow just our gut feeling or our heart feeling. That's what kind of steers the wheel with the band. So. So funny things happen all the time that just happen by accident with us. I mean, honestly, like the Foo Fighters are an accident. You know, it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't supposed to it wasn't supposed to happen like this. And Beautiful free last, accident, I, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'll take it. But I mean, you know, for the last twelve last five years, five years, just we've just kind of let let it take us where it leads us. Leads us with my daughter singing on the record. You know, I didn't think like, oh, this will be a beautiful idea to have my 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 wonderful daughter singing with me on a record i pick her up from school and she comes to the studio which was a house she sits on the couch and the producer says hey violet do you want to sing something and she goes okay and she gets in front of a microphone and she sings um you know it's funny when you mention the punks not dad thing it's funny because <laughs> you know i think that be, that the type of person that you have to be a certain type of person to fall in love with and connect to punk rock music. I think it has more to do with your heart and your head than it does with your ear in a way. So my daughter my was born with that same heart and that same head as I was. So when she was young, she would like listen to, listen to she, listened, she listened, she has music, she would listen to Stevie Wonder, she would listen to the zombies, she would listen to the Beatles, things like that, like that. But then she started discovering music on her own. Like she discovered the misfits. Now, when I was young, I never really liked the Misfits. I loved like all these other hardcore punk rock bands. I loved all these all these death metal bands, but I really loved really the Misfits, and I don't know why. So my daughter, she starts listening to the Misfits, and she's trying now. She's turning me on to the Misfits. Misfits. She's ten years old. So so they say, no, 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 Dad, you have to listen to this. No, 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 that Dad, you have to so listen. That is so great. I know. And so now, <laughs> now I love the Misfits. Like my daughter made me love the Misfits. So it's. <laughs> It's funny being a father and watching this next generation of kids discover music, but also how they, how they do it, mm. and why they do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When my daughter listens to like like crazy subversive punk rock music. It's not because because I I don't think it's because she thinks it sounds cool. I think she thinks it's because it feels cool. You know. Yes, exactly. That's the feeling you want. 